Hello everyone, it's Crunky Starcraft here with a Starcraft 2 commentary. It's a Zerg vs Zerg match this time. Uh, on the bottom left, we're featuring the blue Zerg as Mad Frog, and then in the top left, we have the red Zerg as Stigan. Mad Frog, of course, needs no introduction. He's a very famous Swedish Zerg player. Uh, recently got signed up to SK Gaming, so that's pretty exciting. As for Stigan, on the other hand, however, he's uh, relatively unknown. Uh, this match is, of course, a e uh, match from the ESL Pro Series, so it's quite old, uh, but still, nonetheless, should be pretty interesting. Stigan came from the WoW and Warcraft 3 scene. Uh, I haven't seen him uh, ever play a StarCraft 2 game before, so it should be pretty interesting to see what he cooks up. Uh, the map for this game is Delta Quadrant, which is pretty unique uh, in the fact that it's got these backdoor expansions, which uh, is something you don't really see very often in competitive maps. Um, whether or not the, these will be used, however, is a, the big question because most players, particularly Zerg players, do tend to prefer to go for the faster expansion here. Of course, in a Zerg vs Zerg game, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some Speedlings and Banelings. Uh, it's probably the most commonly used strat in Zerg vs Zerg games. So, nothing out of the ordinary so far. Uh, both players setting out their overlords, just getting a good, uh, good scout going on here. Getting the spawning pool up for Mad Frog and Stigan at almost exactly the same time, and of course we've got the single extractor. So I bet you bottom dollar that we will be seeing speedlings and banelings. Of course, the thing about this kind of build is that it really requires you to uh, kind of judge when to stop training drones and to start training uh, more military units. Of course, that applies to any strategy in Zerg vs Zerg. It's all about getting the balance right. Train too many drones and you'll be way ahead in macro, but your opponent will just steamroll you with uh, superior military numbers. And of course, it all comes down to the micro as well. If you can sneak a baneling into this worker line, or multiple banelings even, then you can inflict some serious, serious damage. Alright, so we've got the spawning pool up for Stigan and Mad Frog as well, and both players, uh, well, only Stigan so far, is researching speedlings. But I expect that to uh, be on the way shortly for Mad Frog as well. Mad Frog, of course, has got these four Zerglings. That looks like he's going for an early push, whether or not it's just to scout or trying to inflict some early harass. Fairly late spawning pool from both players, so I'm not sure how much damage he will be able to inflict. Of course, Stigan already has these Zerglings out on the field. Mad Frog's trying to sneak past him, but I don't think he's going to have much success. Well, that's a lot of Zerglings from Stigan, and he's going straight for the work line, but that Queen is out on the field already. And I don't think these Zerglings will be able to do much at all. Yeah, he lost about uh, two there. Bit of a waste from Mad Frog. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference, but nonetheless, got the scout going on and uh, realized, I believe, that there is a Baneling Nest on the way. So, of course, he now knows what's going on. Um, whether or not he'll react to that by building a Roach Warren, whoa! <laughs> um, it's nothing uh, too abnormal, uh, I have seen it before. It's a pretty viable counter against Zerglings' uh, Banelings, and of course the Zerglings we've seen here are running into the worker line of Mad Frog, but Mad Frog has just managed to fight back with the Roaches and the Queen. Of course, this decision to go Roaches is probably a very good one on his behalf, uh, they're very, very tough against Banelings. Banelings are almost useless against them. Um, and I'm not sure if Stigan really was expecting that at all. He's not doing anything to counter it. He's just got his Baneling nest up now, and he's morphing in uh, more Speedlings. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another player going for a fast expand, of course, uh, not too uncommon in Zerg vs. mashups. Uh, <laughs> these kind of games uh, don't tend to last very long at all. It's all determined on that early game harass and push. Looks like Stigan is going for an expansion, however. I take that back. Mad Frog, uh, I don't think we'll be going for one at all anytime soon. Of course, he's getting his Baneling Nest relatively late. I think Mad Frog's going for a pretty unconventional build here. It may uh, help in the long run to have these Roaches, as I think Stigan will quickly find that his Speedlings and Banelings will be pretty much ineffective. I mean, Roaches do have 145 health and are armored, so no bonus damage for them from the Banelings. Both players only have one Extractor up at the moment, of course. Although, Madfrog is getting in another one as we speak. Looking at the production tab, uh, both players 
seem to be uh, pretty much uh, even in terms of uh, military, but it looks like these speedlings are going to come in and try and snipe those banelings, whether or not they'll have much success. He has to be careful though, if those banelings blow up, he could deal quite a lot of- Oh, excellent micro from Madfrog there, taking out quite a few zerglings. And uh, it looks like these roaches are just going to completely smash these zerglings. I mean, Sigan has a fair few, but there's just too many roaches there. Mavkrog, of course, also has these banelings hanging around as well. It's not looking too good for Stigan at all. Stigan, of course, trying to snipe that uh, baneling cocoon, but uh, didn't have much success there. And really, Stigan needs to transition out of zerglings as fast as possible. He realizes the threat, so he's building some spine crawlers, but I just don't think it'll be enough. He's got two queens, but all he's doing is sending out more zerglings. He's just getting decimated by these baneling. The spine crawlers, of course, taking out Madfrog's baneling. Roach is trying to go around, probably going for some work and harass all of the zerglings. are trying their hardest to cut them off. Even the queens are coming in now, trying to snuff a roach, but it looks like the opposite could happen. No, Madfrog decides to leave the queens and go straight for the worker line, taking out one worker. Uh, ooh, very, very good micro there by Stigan, moving his workers out of the way, but it looks like he's trying to snipe the spawning pool. This could be a huge loss for Stigan. If Stigan loses his pool, then it's pretty much GG. That's his primary production facility, and if he loses that, then he's going to be absolutely crippled. Of course, they're trying to pincer these roaches between the spawning pool and the mineral line, and it looks like he's just going to pull it off, <laughs> wasting quite a few zerglings there in the process. So those roaches are just so tough. Looking bad at Magfrog's base now, he's morphing in even more roaches. I think this is going to be GG for Stigan. He just doesn't have anything to counter this amount of roaches. He's building spine crawlers all over the place, but I really don't think it's going to help him at all. Of course, the roaches can sneak past them here if he doesn't uh, move them closer to the hatchery. Of course, the roaches are moving out now. That's a lot of roaches. I don't think Stigan can deal with this at all. It all depends on these spine crawlers now. If he moves these spine crawlers into the correct position, then he could defend this second expansion, uh, this first expansion, sorry. But I don't think it's going to happen. The roaches are, of course, moving right around the uh, spine crawlers. Zerling staying next to the workers, although I don't think there's anything they can do. I think this hatchery is going to get sniped. And I think it's pretty much GG for Stigan. The main problem here is that he didn't do anything to counter these roaches. He saw them coming up. Uh, from quite a way away, he scattered them out fairly early, but I think he was just so inflexible in his build that he really, really didn't have anything uh, to stop them. I mean, he's building a Roach Warren now. Had that come up uh, a few minutes earlier, then it may have saved him, especially with the uh, slightly improved macro he had. But overall now, it's just useless. And of course, he GG's. Wow, alright, so we've got Madfrog there with a ton of roaches, pretty much about to steamroll Stigan's base. Stigan was slightly ahead in economy, but as I mentioned at the start of the game, that's essentially useless if you don't have the counter to your enemy's units. Anyway guys, this has been Crunky Starcraft with another awesome Starcraft 2 commentary. If you like this one, then feel free to uh, like it and subscribe. Alright guys, have a good one.